Hello. Dual monitors can make you look good. There are pros and cons, but if you're using PowerPoint with two monitors, it can help you look good. Also, if you use PowerPoint with Media, Groove, Excel, Word, or some other program, it can help you look good. We'll get into some the we'll get into some of the cons later on. I am using dual screens and trying to record myself and the screen, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, here I am. And you see the two screens here. This is a 32-inch Sony TV that we had unused. And on the right side is a 16-inch laptop. To set up dual monitors, you basically go into Windows, go into your display settings, and tell it or let it find the second monitor, and you, you'll have the hard part done. You can see it here. It's already found the second monitor. And depending on how you have your setup, you can have the monitor to the right of your base monitor on top of it or to the right of it. So that way when you're in your base monitor working, you can move to the right and you'll move right to your monitor. So we'll go back to the way I had it. You can work in a program and leave the presentation up on the second monitor, projector, or TV monitor. And I have done this at music banquets to where I want the presentation shown, but I'm working on something else, maybe another document, music, or something else. And what's really neat in PowerPoint, you can make your edits in edit view with the second monitor displayed and the corrections will show immediately. So you don't have to drop out of the program, modify it, and then go back. So we'll bring up PowerPoint. And you will see that once it's up and running, you can put it on either screen. So right now we're starting on the smaller screen. And of course you can just drag it to either one. And I will just drag it over here to the larger screen. As you see, even though I drug it to the left screen, it still wants to go to the right screen. So all you have to do is just minimize it some and then just drag it. And I found out if you push it to the very top, typically it will go full screen. Or you can bring it over and then maximize it with the maximize button. So the, the real issue as far as a negative is if you have PowerPoint in dual monitor mode, which let me show you how to do that. Just open a presentation and go to the command line to show you. You would go to slideshow and which one do you want to be your monitor, the TV, or the primary monitor. So this would be the, the, the TV. And while we're here, if you want to use presenter view, that's where you have your slides, your timer, your countdown timer, your next slide, your array of upcoming slides, any speaker notes, all in one presenter view that you can use while the slideshow view is displayed to the audience and you would select it here so if we went went ahead and went to uh, go to slideshow this is the present or slideshow view this is the presentation view oh here's a nice option also you can you can swap the settings. So now this is the presentation of the presenter view, and this is the slideshow view. Let's drop out and put some text on here just so we can. So this is edit mode. We have presenter view enabled. So we go to slideshow mode. 
So this is slideshow mode. This is presenter view mode. And as you see, we have pen and eraser, see all slides, which is the only slide we have. You can magnify, oh, I'm sorry, you can see all slides. You can zoom in on the slide. And notice how it zooms in on edit view or slideshow view. This command blackens the screen, which is the same as the command B, like in Bravo. And you would use it to take the attention away from the presentation and back onto back onto the presenter. Click it again, your slideshow comes back. Toggle the subtitles. Top of the camera and then some other options here that you typically would have. Here you can hide presenter view, change the screen to black or white, and of course in show. But note, this is the next show, uh, next slide that's available. These are your speaker notes. You can change the font size here, scroll up and scroll down. You can advance the slides here. You have your timer running. You can show your taskbar, some display settings, and end slideshow. One thing I want to point out, maintain that your monitor edges almost touch. It helps ergonomically and also helps on your eye strain with having to you know, move back and forth. The closer, the better. I run Task Manager just to kind of see how things are doing. You wouldn't think that running a second monitor would put any more load in your computer, but it does draw a little bit of current. So you may want to have this open in the background and just look at power consumption and everything else for those particular programs that you're running at the time. You can move a document from one screen to another, depending on what you need to do. We've already talked about presenter view and edit view. The main benefit is that you have more area to do your work. You know, if you have this view versus that view, it's just smaller. This monitor is about three to four times the area. So you can blow your, not blow up, but enlarge your documents three to four times, depending on how many documents you want to run at the same time. You can tile your documents. You can, I'm sorry, yeah, it's, it's that's tiling. You can cascade them. It just depends on what you want to do. One of the problems with dual monitors in PowerPoint is when you have Zoom and running dual monitors. The problem comes in to the point where you have two screens in PowerPoint and you only want to display the slideshow view. That's another reason to have the slideshow view already up and running so you can see it versus the edit view and that's the one you want to select. Now I did run into a problem recently in a meeting where I had the slideshow view on the same monitor as Zoom. I could toggle through the programs using alt tab and I could see it. But once I tried to share it, Zoom couldn't see it because PowerPoint was behind Zoom and I never could enable it. So I found that problem just recently. So make sure you're, I guess the logo show, make sure you edit your 
slideshow view is on a separate monitor from Zoom or not have Zoom in full screen. Dual monitors are very good for, as confidence monitors. A confidence monitor is nothing more than your slides show up in presentation mode. And this would be your confidence monitor. This would be what you'd be speaking from while the viewers or the audience would see this monitor or this projector, TV screen, LED wall, whatever it is you have. So the real decision with this other mode, whether you use edit mode or presenter mode with slideshow mode is, it really depends. Will you be editing live? Will you be editing on the fly? Will you be doing a lot of edits? You can actually use either one with slideshow up. Another question is, do you have lots of speaker notes? Then you'd probably want to use presenter view. Will you be writing questions for later answering? Presenter view. Will you have a confidence monitor for your presentation? And then there could be other concerns. We've already talked about how to set up slideshow to establish two monitors. You want, in, in Windows, you want to make sure you ex extend the main monitor to the second monitor. Do not duplicate. If you duplicate, it's, it's, going to, it's just going to do that. It's going to look the same. So you want to extend. In presenter view, you can hop around to different slides, which if we had multiple slides, let's drop out real quick and add a couple more slides. Go back home, new slide, new slide, new slide. So we'll just put some simple text right here. So now if we go back to slideshow, but you can also get it from the slideshow icon. You see slide one of four. And the next slide is displayed here with no speaker notes. To show all slides on your, oh, this button. So it basically just allows you to toggle from one slide to the next. So this is slide two shown here and slide three is shown next in the preview. You can toggle to slide three. Now slide four is shown in the preview. Now you're at slide four. Slide four is shown audience monitor or TV or LED wall. And there is nothing for slide five. It says end of slideshow and you can end the show. You can also swap between presenter view and slideshow view. If you're in slideshow, I believe it's right here. Yes, on the presenter view, you can swap presenter, presenter view and slideshow view. You can swap monitors, basically. Or you can even duplicate the slideshow. If you have someone that does not want the second monitor, you can either disable it under slideshow. Or the easiest way is to remove the cable from the second monitor to your computer. And I had to do that for one of my family members. Then you're back to single monitor mode. And we've already talked about your slideshow mode being behind Zoom and Zoom not being able to find it. So in summary, 
there are more advantages than disadvantages having dual monitors. You can look more professional, but you do need to practice like with any software. Make sure the second device is detected by Windows or the Macintosh in your PowerPoint presentation. Basically, once you turn it on, it will find it, find the second device, and it'll put the image out there, make you look more professional, give you more confidence. You have your speaker notes in front of you, but you don't have paper to shuffle or a second device to deal with. It can help you running PowerPoint and other applications, whether it's Word, Excel, some music application, Groove, YouTube, whatever the case may be, some website. You can work on different things while the audience is watching the presentation that you want them to see. If you are a Mac user, let me know. I can work out the keystrokes for that operating system. Basically what you're doing is enabling your operating system to see the second device, you're telling it, and then you tell PowerPoint, hey, I, I wanna use both monitors in this fashion. I want this one as the primary, and I want this one as the secondary, or vice versa. But, but PowerPoint can swap that easily. That is about it on dual monitors. It may seem a little complicated, but it's really not. It's, they're a lot of fun. Really get a lot more work done if you've got two, three, four projects open at the same time, four, different, four or five different uh, windows of applications. It just makes it nice to just click and you're there without having to alt tab and find it and whatnot. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions or, com or comments on this video. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you.